Buzzfly, quality materials in your hands. Materials needed, light cured acrylic, in this case bug bond. Standard length hook, anywhere from a size 8 to 2 L. Mono thread, barbell eyes, angel hair, bucktail, easy body, and CA glue. Attach your mono thread behind the hook eye and lay down a small thread base. Secure your dumbbell eyes about a third of the way down the hook shank. Apply a little bit of CA glue to your thread wraps around your eyes and a little bit to the hook shank behind the eyes. Attach a small clump of bucktail behind the eyes. Attach it by laying it right behind the eyes with a couple wraps. Push down with your thumb to spread the bucktail around the hook shank and secure it back to the hook bend. It should extend maybe one to two hook lengths behind the bend of the hook. Attach a length of silver flash behind the eyes and secure it all the way down to the hook bend. And now we're going to wrap that around the hook shank all the way up to the eyes and secure it down. Invert your fly in the vise. Now we're going to attach some angel hair to what now is the top of our fly. And we'll make sure we attach it right behind the hook eye, along the top of the body of the fly. And then we'll split the material in half so it runs on each side of the hook. And we'll try to secure it down to the bend of the hook. After we've secured our angel hair, we can invert the hook again and trim off the angel hair to length. Now we're going to attach small easy body behind the hook eye. And make sure we secure it to the top of the hook shank. Now we can advance our thread back to almost even with the hook point and fold the easy body over itself to form the belly. Now we can apply a quick whip finish or a couple half hitches and cut off our thread. The tying is done at this point. Now we're going to fill in our belly and coat it with some light cured acrylic. Just remember to be careful about using any light activated acrylics. Try to make sure you, you fill in all the gaps and around the eyes to form a pretty nicely tapered head. Most light cured acrylics will stay in place once you've put them onto your, your fly. But sometimes when you build them up a little bit, like here, um, the, the material will move a little bit, which you can use to your advantage because you can rotate the fly in your vise to try to level out some of the material. And if you have some low spots or high spots, you can adjust it just with the tip of the uh, applicator by adding more or just moving the applicator around. Once you're happy with the shape, you can cure the acrylic with the light that is specified by your manufacturer of your acrylic. To cure the fly, 
I just shine it on the fly and rotate it slowly in the vise. And I try to apply the light at different angles. The longer you hold the light onto the fly, the deeper the cure will be. Don't make the mistake of just hitting the fly with the light for a couple seconds because you may not be curing the material completely through the fly. If you need to add a little bit more, just apply the acrylic right on top of your fly and hit it with the light. It's that simple. Well, there you have it. Deep, easy sand deal. If you need more information, you can visit my website at www.buzzfly.com. Thank you.